They're saying that it's good good time for fish right now. They're, they have a lot. Yeah. I like those those guys. And then he's gonna fillet. We left um, Valparaiso today and headed to Viña del Mar and Concon. Concon is known as the gastronomic capital of the area because all the good food is out here, all the good seafood, all of the uh, uh, pasqui, uh, pescadarias, pescadarias, which means like the fish markets and everything. All the fresh uh, catches are here and surfing and swimming and beach. So it's just kind of a real legitimate, genuine area. Locals, um, there are tourists here, but you wouldn't know it. Very genuine area. Excited to be here. Oh, like this right here. Check this out. That's about $3 per. Mm. It's not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Do you want to eat it fresh off the shell right now with lemon? Uh, whatever you think, yeah. Absolutely, you should. Don't you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Just do it! <laughs> Almost ready. Lo comen con un limoncito? Mm -hmm. Sí. Gracias. Le pago al caballero. There we go. Doy te pago, mami. How do you get it away from me? I have no clue, honey. I don't like this. But you're doing great. Less than two minutes out of the car, and here I am holding a freshly cut open sea urchin. This is Jacob Polacco with Spice Vagrant, and we about to get nasty. It's delicious. I'm just finding out there's a, something like a spider crawling around in here somewhere, so I'm a little bit horrified. I don't fully understand, and if I see it, I might, I might drop it. I can do any more. Are you done? I think Not so. that great? Gina, will you help me? No, you no. don't like it. Si quieren estar en una playa más tranquila a esta hora, va a estar de va a estar más llena el país de allá. Claro, si quieren estar aquí un rato, vamos a creer. Bueno, aquí vamos a estar un rato. Sí, pero si quieren sacar las toallas que hace aquí, bueno, juntemos. I'm so happy. There's pino de pollo con jamón. There's pino de pollo with bacon. You know? There's so many kinds of sorbogón. There's even one Vienesa queso, which is hot dog and cheese. Imagine. All right, so we asked around to see where the best empanadas were in town, and we were sent with a resounding consensus to Center Mahu, which is a Peruvian restaurant that specializes in empanadas, and they also have hamburguesas, or sandwiches, or tortas, or whatever you want to call it. So we ordered a uh, pulpo empanada, which is octopus and parmesan. We ordered a mariscos empanada, 
which is a mix of seafood um, and will probably include mussels and clams and things like that. And then we ordered a matcha uh, in Banada, which is razor clams and cheese. So it's about to get done with seafood right here. And uh, to get things started, I got the Cusquinha, which is a uh, Peruvian beer. And I've never had it, never even heard of it. Pretty pumped to have everything. Stay tuned. So here we find ourselves. We are beachside at the Centro de Bajo and our empanadas just arrived. We had to go ahead and order a sandwich too, so we're going to get a Peruvian take on a cordon bleu. So we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, but right now, to my left, I have a super crunchy um, razor clam empanada with cheese. Cut right into it. Oh, and I just cut through a razor clam right away. Whoa. I'm ready to dig in. Mm. Everything in you tells you that cheese and seafood is not supposed to go together, but Chile just ignores that completely, and it's fantastic. I'm so glad that somebody had the audacity to disregard the evil French. Let's go ahead and get into this one is um, this one is the mariscos, which will be like a mix of seafood. Hoping to see lots of mussels with the tomato attached. Oh my god, those! Look at all that just juice running out. Let's give a moment of silence for the juice. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, right there, mussels, and they're kind of chopped up, which makes it very user friendly. And there's like sauteed onions, kind of a sofrito, and queso, and it's on the table. Mmm. And true spice vagrant style, getting nice and messy out here. Mmm. Holy shit. Delicioso. No other words to describe it. Makes you curse. Mmm. Okay, I'll be back for you, you little guy. Now we got the potpo. Now this was most highly recommended by the server. Potpo. Of course, is octopus. So let's see what's cracking in here. Now this one's really together. No juices, just nice, tightly binded, which I'm trying to understand how that even happens. I think it's kind of like how um, octopus will congeal and you can kind of make a terrine out of it naturally with its own collagen. So I think it kind of binds in that way. And uh, this has Parmesan in it as well. And the way that it cut lets me know that it's perfectly braised, perfectly tender. Unbelievable, the texture here. Get one of those little suckers up right on there. Mmm. Look at that purple color. Mmm. I can see why that was the first pick. It's incredibly tender, but it's not like, I don't know if you've ever had overcooked uh, octopus, but it has all of the textural qualities of string cheese. This is not that. This has like just enough al dente to the tooth texture. And the cheese, it's like, it's like a very refined hot pocket on steroids. Delicioso. So in typical Spice Vagrant style, we talked about ordering one thing and somehow miraculously we ended up with another thing. Always too much food, always excess, that's why you watch it. So here we go. We've got the Peruvian riff on a cordon bleu, which is gonna be uh, chicken breast uh, a la plancha, uh, jamón inglés, which uh, is kind of like, it looks like a pork belly treated like ham. Um, looks banging. And then the thing that we weren't expecting on getting, I had to get a crash course from my lovely girlfriend, Poppy, the reason why we are in Chile right now, uh, and the person behind the camera right now, rocking the zoom lens, um, that we had to have this Peruvian classic, this clash of natural fusion of um, lomo sotero. So this is not normal a sandwich 
not normally a sandwich, but uh, this is kind of the sandwich version of it. Saltero or saltaro? Saltaro. And this is, um, I'll explain why it's kind of a natural fusion as I understand it. So in Peru, at the time that the railroads were being built, as well as in the north of Chile, um, there was Chinese that were brought here as slaves, and those flavors kind of uh, bled into the food. And so this is, has a marinade in it, which contains soy sauce, among many other things. So kind of as usual, the um, kind of colonialism and bloodshed and war uh, creates only one fantastic thing, and that's food. So for better or worse, now this dish joins us. We are in a more modern, more educated time, and uh, I get to reap the benefits of this existence. So I'll go ahead and start with what we ordered in the first place, and we'll play musical dishes here. Now this is too huge to eat, so I'm going to have to cut it keep you all from putting it in slow-mo and creating your own food porn with my bites. But just look at that. Pretty awesome. There's actually a thick steak of ham, the bacon, um, the chicken, and then a ton of cheese and lettuce. Cordon mm. Blue. It's delicious. It's on a ciabatta. I wouldn't know anything about this as Peruvian. Very tasty. If you can hear the honking behind me, we got a pretty busy road. Just saw a motorcycle accident, but he is okay. Now we're going to try this guy. Poppy said she had this dish in Lima. And it was all she could think about for a week. But she also said that it has a, a more juice than this normally. We asked for a little bit more juice for it, but they said that uh, it's kind of made in the pan with the thing. It's not something they can just add sauce to. So let's see here. Oh, there's some juice here at the bottom. I'm going to get a big, huge helping of that. And I'm going to take a bite of this soaking wet part right here. Let's take a look at it first, right? Mmm. Mmm. That's very unique. It's kind of like a fajita sandwich with soy sauce. Um, I'm not sure if it lends itself well as a sandwich. I'd really like to try it, you know, in its whole form, but really, really delicious. So these are kind of the two dishes that we got. And overall, this place knocked it out of the park. So if you're ever in uh, the region outside of Valparaiso, Con Con, or Viña del Mar, pop over to Sintermapu for amazing Peruvian empanadas.